Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. And yes, today we're taking a look at Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Now, when I saw the title of this film, I couldn't believe it was getting wide release. Of course, they did dump it in January, which is kind of the, uh, you know, got a reputation of being the dumping ground for films that uh, they don't think are going to be really hot. Now, Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters, tells us a story. In the beginning, we get to see the story of Hansel and Gretel, how they're left in the woods. You know, the story we all know. They get uh, picked up by a witch. She takes her to the happy candy house but things aren't quite so happy there but the kids prevail in the end by burning the witch in the oven she was going to cook them in well we see this now many years later Hansel and Gretel got a taste for witch killing and have developed themselves into some badass witch hunters gained a big reputation for it as well well when they come to this one town to try to take care of its witch problem they finally get more than they bargained for as there's a super powerful witch played uh, by Famika uh, Jansen, if I mispronounce that, I apologize. I can never get that name quite right. Who's got a grand plan to change the game in witch hunting and how witches are handled uh, as far as, you know, fire, dealing with fire and, and burning them to kill them. And we see Hansel and Gretel trying to prevent this grand plan from taking place as well as them learning more about their past even when they didn't want to. What to say about Hansel and Gretel witch hunters? It, 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 all the elements are there. The production design, I love the production design. Okay, first off, with a title like this, you just expect ridiculousness. Okay, the title alone, you're going into this not expecting much, but hoping for some fun. And you do get some great fun visuals. There's the uh, steampunkish feel of the weapons they have, where they try to do uh, uh, modern type weapons, but do it uh, in old school style. You know, and I really liked that. I really loved the weapons they came up with, kind of a la Van Helsing. Okay, or even to some extent, a Sherlock Holmes. You get these uh, uh, weapons and devices they came up with. Uh, and so I love that bit. I always love when they try to, you know, mix that into it. And, and you know, the wardrobe and the dialogue. Don't look for any historical accurate dialogue in this film. You're not going to get any, okay? Uh, but it's still fun. I love the characters as well. I mean, not only visually was this great with the makeup on the witches, but the performances of the actors were really well done as well. Jeremy Renner as Hansel, Gemma Ar uh, Turretin as Gretel, two badass folks. They they were fun to watch. I liked their characters. I, I liked how they were performing, how they came across, though there was a little bit of lack of chemistry, a feeling of a brother and sister love there for most of the film. Uh, you know, by themselves, I really liked it, but the relationship between them uh, was a little bit weak, and you didn't quite feel uh, the strength there that I was hoping you would, okay? And as I mentioned before, the uh, uh, Famika Jansen, she does evil so well. Uh, I loved her performance, much like we saw Sher Theron in uh, Snow White and the Huntsman playing up her evil part. She does, uh, Jansen does that in this as well as the Grand Witch and I loved watching every scene she was in. She just ate it up. Um, and then the makeup with the witches. We've got demonic witches here. They aren't the oh, they're more like a, the I'll get you my pretty witches, which is nice to see. Uh, so those all elements are there. I mean the mixture of modern and, and this and the grittiness and it was rated R so you had the gore in they didn't hold back on anything. The problem where it came and started falling flat was in the script itself. Now, this was done by the guy, Tommy Workola, who did uh, Dead Snow, and I love Dead Snow. Okay, It was a send-up to the zombie films. A little bit predictable, yes, but there were a few uh, changes to the story we hadn't seen before and were refreshing. In this one, they try, but it all, it never... They never carry it to full extent, okay? I'm trying not to give too much away of the, the film, but let's just say that our heroes, one of them has a, a, something wrong with them, uh, but they don't really explore that as much as they could until the plot calls for it, you know? A and it was predictable, okay? The script was predictable, and I know with the title like this, what'd you expect? A lot of death? No, but I expected a little bit of uh, unpredictability with it, but I saw a lot of the things coming way before the characters in the screen. Now, it's okay if you see that a little bit before, but a lot before can take you away from the film, and that did take away some of my enjoyment of this film, because I really was hoping to really enjoy this film, and I thought it was just okay. You don't have to see it in a 3 distraction. Uh, in fact, the action scenes are distracting like they usually are in 3D. Don't need to see it. You can see it in 2D. For me, folks, Hansel Gretel, uh, Witch Hunters, gets... 
two and a three quarters stubs. Not quite. It's the first time I've done a three quarters, but I can't quite give it a three and say, yes, go see this for sure. Because, um, you know, it just falls weak in the, to the point where I was hoping for a little bit more originality in it. Um, everything else, all the elements are there. I would say if you want to see it, see it as a matinee, definitely. Uh, you don't have to see it uh, in 3D. Uh, I just think where the direction they went with some of the things seemed to be, uh, you know, a quick quick uh, shortcuts where they could have just taken a little more time, tightened up the script more, and made uh, even more a uh, really cool film uh, instead of just an, an okay film. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets down.